Peter goalless in the end, but, yeah. but we had our chances. What was your thoughts on the game? Yeah, we again we need to take make the most of the big opportunities and big moments in the game, and we didn't quite do that today. I thought we defended very well. Um, being a local derby, it was open at times, a bit too open for us. But the performance was positive, and we've you know, and we've kept a clean sheet, and the performance was good, and we've created chances again. So, you know, so we go away disappointed with the result not to win the game, uh, especially at home, and especially with the fans coming back for the first time. Um, but I think that the fans showed the players at the end, you know, the effort they've put in and the character they've shown with the round of applause they gave them when they went over to them at the end. So it's disappointing, but like I said, but the performance was, was a positive one. The big talking point from the game, I guess, is going to be the goal yeah. that was chalked off just for half time. What was your take on it? And you've seen the video back. I've seen the video back, see it at half time. And, uh, and for me, if, listen, if it's a foul, it's a foul. And give it straight away, though. Why, why you played another five, six, seven seconds after the foul? I don't understand it because if he's, you know, he, he explained to me that he'd seen a foul on the goalkeeper, but he went in the same side as his linesman, so they were both blocked out by bodies because I've seen the goal and I've seen where they both are, so they both can't see the actual foul. I think it's the Wildstone players appealing, and the goalie bid on the floor probably made his mind up to give the decision. So, for me, you know, in the in the grand scheme of things, I think that that's the way our luck's going. Um, you know, we've, you've seen with our chances today. We had a couple of headers at the back stick, dropped down on the goal line almost, and we just cannot get that little toe poke over the line. And once we do, then I'm, I'm sure that the, the floodgates will open for all the players will start scoring goals. But the performance in general was good. Um, disappointed with the goal that was chalked off because again, it was, would have been a great time for us as well. Just before half time, would have given us some real momentum going into the second half. And in the end, it raises their spirits a little bit because obviously, would they go in at half time knowing they've had a lucky escape? And, uh, and they come out with a, with a fresh vibe in, in the second half. But I thought we, you know, I thought we, we matched them throughout. And, uh, and like I said, we we probably had sneaked the better of it possession-wise, and, and probably with the chances as well. In Yefiong gave you a real focal point this afternoon. Seemed to be someone that you could hit when you needed to go long, but also yeah. didn't stop running when yeah. Wilson had the defence, and he made himself some good few chances. How do you assess his performance? Yeah, I thought I, th- I thought they were all good. I mean, like I said, they were individually, you know, Harry Taylor and Ben Nugent, Lochi obviously made a couple of important stops for us. The two fullbacks I thought were good today. Um, so everyone has played an important part, and, and that's the way we have to do it. We have to be a collective. You know, there's no individuals, but but in his. And he's a handful, um, and uh, you know his his attitude towards the game is great. He's non-stop running, uh, puts people under pressure, and again he will. I mean, he got his goal on Wednesday, but he'll earn his goals purely by his hard work. And and as I've just said to the players in there, then is that you know as as much as dis, as disappointed as they are now, um, you know if we continue continue to play like that, then our luck will change. It has to because it, you can't have bad luck for the whole season. So, it, but they just have to maintain that level of performance and then build on that. And obviously, you know, if we can start getting one or two back, that would be a bonus as well. One change to the 11 today mm. with Jack Connors coming in. I thought he put in a very good performance for his first Yeah, he played well. I mean, you know, we pulled Jerome before the game and, and spoke to him. And, and to be fair, had we had a few more options, let's say, I mean, our bench is a little bit depleted. Um, obviously, Don is the only forward-thinking player we've got on the bench at the moment. Obviously, we've got Bilal and we've got Jerome and we had Dwight, all defenders. So that just goes to show that our lack of, of, of firepower at the moment or, you know, of forward thinking players. Um, and Jerome was unlucky today because he wasn't the only one after Wednesday we could have left out. Um, but he took it on the chin and we expect a response from him. But Jack came in and done extremely well and, and Jack's had his chance and now it's up to Jack to keep his place in the team. When you look compared to Wednesday to today, it's mm-hmm. a step in the right direction. But how important is it that we do really build on it now? I, and this is a building block. Yeah, and we've, said, and we've said it after every defeat that we have, when we have a decent game, you know, like the Hartlepool, like the Weymouth, like the Dagenham, after you know, fight the defeat here at Eastleigh, you know, that's a step and we've got to build on it. And it's now, you know, at times today, we played some great stuff. Um, but it was more about the workmanlike performance and the hard work and the shift to put in for everybody. And that's the minimum requirement. And for whatever reason, we, we don't do that on a regular basis. Um, the players talk about it and they agree that we, we come off it a little bit. So, like I said, it is, it is a, a building block. It is a key now, but, it, but, it, but um, you know, we've now got to do the same again all over again on Tuesday. And you know, we might get a little bit of luck on Tuesday, hopefully. But if we don't, performance is key and paramount. So we need to have a good performance. 
fans were back in the grand stand. They got right brilliant. behind you from the brilliant. off. What was just your message to them? Oh, absolutely brilliant. I said it was great to have them back. It felt like a proper football match. Um, and, and they got behind the players superbly and that's all you can ask from your supporters. I think the players gave them a performance that was worthy of them getting behind them and, uh, and, and they did so and that's, and that's all that supporters will want from their team is to see them well, not wear their heart on the sleeve but they want to play for the shirt and I think they did that today and, and, and like I said I think that had some of the supporters been into the games earlier on in the season they'd have seen that we're not far off we just getting punished and we're not having a, a great run of luck at the moment. So, But uh, like I said, they went home today, hopefully fairly happy. Um, obviously, they'll go home and probably think that we could have got three points out of it and we probably should have done, which I agree. Um, but the lads put in a, a decent display and it was, it was just, just great to have them back and have you know, an atmosphere. I mean, obviously, it's not a full-up ground and it was only one side open, but they made noise, which was, which was fantastic. Just lastly, on to Stockport Tuesday night. I'll be... A- Another test for us. Uh, there was a team that's going well at the moment. Yeah, a different type of test again. I think Wildstone have got a lot more footballers in their team. I'm not saying that Stockport haven't, but they're they're going to be a bit more robust and a bit more, you know, a bit more physical maybe. Um, and we've got to be ready for that. So, but hopefully we can counter that with our slick movement and our passing, and and hopefully create as many chances. And like we said, it's that old adage of having one come off your backside or one off your knee or whatever it may be to get the ball rolling. And hopefully we can get that Tuesday.